Hallöchen, Hallöchen, Hallöchen und willkommen zurück zu Contradiction. Mein Name ist Raymond LP und wir sind hier in der Ermittlung des Mordfalls Kate Wein unterwegs. Und wir haben in der letzten Folge dieses äh, Päckchen mit diesen seltsam verdächtig aussehenden Blättchen gefunden. Und ich frage mich, wen wir danach noch befragen können. Ich würde mal einfach mal auf äh, Simon tippen. Der hat doch mit dem immer Kräuter getauscht. Dann können wir ihn noch mal fragen, ob er auch sagt, dass das, dass das Minze ist. Das täte mich jetzt mal interessieren. Hier. Know what these are? No. Look a bit like sage leaves. Haven't seen them before though. Not at all, no. Leaves could be sage. Was heißt denn sage? Moment. Ich schneide es wieder raus, aber ich muss mal eben gucken, nur um. Ne, wisst ihr Bescheid. hier die Seite, die so kacke funktioniert immer. Sage. Nein. Nicht Wahrsagerspiegel. Sage. <lacht> Salbei. Sage heißt also Salbei. Äh, können wir denn nicht sagen, hier, ey, du hast da immer mit, mit dem Typen da... Äh. Nee. Ich dachte, okay, dann fragen wir mal Emma. Thank you. Probably be back later. Ob sie was. Vielleicht kennt die sich besser mit Kräutern aus oder so. Keine Ahnung. You know what these are by any chance? No. Sorry. I, I don't know anything about plants or things like that, but you should ask Rebecca. She used to live on a farm. She'd know. Ha, ah, danke für den Hinweis, Emma. Dann werden wir uns doch mal zu Rebecca begeben in Le Pub und werden sie mal nach diesen Kräutern fragen. Und das ist doch bestimmt weder Minze noch Salbei. Das ist doch irgendeine Droge oder irgendwas. Bin ich mir ja schon fast sicher. So, klingelingeling. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. Do you know what these are? Oh, magic mint. Where did you find this? Magic, magic mint. mint. Salvia divinorum. I used to grow it years ago. It makes you trip. Das kenn ich so. It's a hallucinogenic and legal. Quite a dangerous combination, really. Do you use it? <laughs> Me? <laughs> no, I don't even take medicines. I, um, I like to stay pure. I didn't expect Rebecca to know about growing drugs. I know she claims not to use them herself, but I'm not so sure. Hatte sie denn irgendwann schon mal irgendwas gesagt, dass sie äh, irgendwie Tabletten nimmt oder keine? Hat sie nicht. Okay. Dann haben wir, aber jetzt, on, haben wir jetzt eine neue Info über dieses äh, Kraut, was wir doch mal bestimmt James fragen können, oder? Können wir doch bestimmt mal zu James... Das war, glaube ich, ein zu weit. Jupp, das war ein zu weit. Aber so können wir auch zur Abby fahren. Können wir ihn hier mal darauf ansprechen, ey, was ist das für legale Droge, die du hier anbaust? Okay. Ever heard of Salvia Divinorum, James? Was that skin cream? It's not a skin cream, no. It's a plant. Really? Don't know much about plants. So you've never heard of Salvia? No. Doesn't know much about plans. Das können wir doch bestimmt widerlegen. Hier. Nicht. Oh. Er weiß nicht viel über Pflanzen, verkauft aber sein Kräutertee oder was. Hm? Na gut. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Na gut, na gut. Dann können wir noch mal zu Simon und Emma gehen. Und vielleicht noch mal zu Ryan. Vielleicht hilft uns das ja auch noch weiter. Erstmal zu Simon und Emma. Können wir die noch mal nach der, nach der Droge fragen? A few more questions, please. Thank you. 
ever heard of salvia divinorum? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. It's a drug, isn't it? Yeah, hallucinogenic drug. Ever tried it? No. No, I've never taken any illegal substances. noch nie illegale Sachen zu sich genommen. Ja, Bier ist ja nicht illegal. Thank you. Probably be dann sprechen wir Simon noch mal darauf an und dann gehen wir mal zu Ryan und gucken mal, was da noch abgeht. Ever heard of Salvia Divinorum? Salvia Divinorum? Uh, uh, magic Mint, same thing. Oh yeah, you mean the drug? Yeah, yeah, yeah I've heard of that. Yeah, I've ever tried it. But once or twice, yeah. But it's not really my sort of thing. It messes with your brain. I've never tried any other drugs either. Well, nothing like that. Nothing hallucinogenic. Okay, hat noch nie halluzinogene Drogen. Also, <lacht> das kann man ja halt nicht als Widerspruch nehmen. Das stimmt ja. Ich dachte jetzt, das wäre ein Widerspruch, weil er sagt, er hat er weiß nicht, Thank was you. das ist, aber er hat es ja schon mal genommen. Ich dachte, dann wüsste man vielleicht auch, wie das aussieht, wenn man das schon mal genommen hat. Aber scheinbar nicht. Okay, dann gehen wir mal zu Ryan. Ob er vielleicht irgendwas zu den Drogen weiß oder so? Keine Ahnung. Gehen wir ins Atrium. Und zur Lounge Store. Ask you a couple more things, please. Ah, die zwei können wir noch fragen. Do you know what this is? Looks like uh, chopped tea bags to me. <laughs> what is it? I just thought you might know. I don't know anything about plants, Inspector. What you should do is ask Rebecca. She knows far more about these things than I do. Uh, messy things, <laughs> growing things. <laughs> ah, okay. Have you ever heard of Salvia Divinorum? No. Um, what is it? It's a hallucinogenic plant. A legal one. At least for the moment. I've no interest in drugs, Inspector. My job. That's the only drug I need. As trite as that may sound. Do you know any students who may have used hallucinogens? No. No, my students aren't interested in that kind of thing. Besides, No one is allowed drugs or alcohol onto the site. I don't think anyone has ever brought drugs to Atlas. Do you have any medicines on site at all? No, we're not allowed insurance purposes. Okay. Moment, aber die war doch immer betrunken, oder nicht? Hm, okay. Das passt also nicht. Was hat er da noch? Okay, okay. Kein Student hat ever... Kein That's Student hat moment. ever Drugs auf die Zeit gebracht. Denglish for the win, Alter. Okay, jetzt die Frage. Brauchen wir jetzt schon wieder eine Contradiction? Oder äh, gibt es noch weitere Hinweise irgendwo? Aber hier ist auch wieder nichts, was wir tun können. Schade eigentlich. Dann würde ich sagen... Gehen wir mal gerade mal zu Fuß zurück, ob wir noch irgendwas auf den, auf den Wegen finden oder so. Nur damit wir da nichts übersehen, falls da wieder irgendjemand sitzt oder so. Kann ja auch sein. Gehen wir erstmal auf die Clearing. Ach, guck an! You mind not defacing public property, please? What's it to you? Well, I'm a policeman. And that's supposed to make what difference exactly? It means that you do exactly what I tell you to do. Or what? Or you arrest me? No, I'll give you a fine this time. So, if I do something that you don't like, I have to give you some money? What happens if you do something that I don't like? You're going to give me some money? Look, I do not have time to discuss it at the moment. Can you just go? Pathetic. Das für einer. Uh. Metal, yo, Metal. What a prize brat. But why would he carve that into a tree? Either he's a diehard rock fan or there's more to that symbol than meets the eye. 
Okay, vielleicht ist mehr an dem Symbol dran, als man direkt sieht. Aber den können wir wahrscheinlich nicht damit benutzen, oder? Nee. Die Maske? Auch nicht. Den Vogel? Auch nicht. Den Schraubendreher? Auch nicht. Den Schlüssel? Auch nicht. Okay, schade. Okay, gut, dass wir das gesehen haben. Gut, dass wir mal zu Fuß zurückgegangen sind. So, dann gehen wir mal hier zur Junction. Gehen wir mal zum Jetty, ob da irgendwas los ist. Nö, da ist nichts los. Äh, gehen wir hier zum Waldeingang. Ne, eigentlich wollte ich in die andere Richtung. Sorry. Ich wollte nämlich dahin. Hier ist auch wieder was. What are you? Private Eye? Uh, no, I'm a police inspector. Who are you looking for? I'm investigating a death in the village. That student then. They did one last year too. Same place. Was? Did what? Drowned a student. Ask that psycho about it. He runs that business cult thing up at the, the big house. <sighs> Bunch of nut jobs. Oh, uh, hey, uh, what was the student's name? Liam something. Atlas's reputation precedes them. I think I might call the station, find out a bit more about this Liam. Ja. Da haben die echt letztes Jahr auch schon Studenten ertränkt? What the fuck? Hello, DCI Jones speaking. Mike, uh, it's Jenks. Hi, Jenks, I thought you'd clocked off tonight. Yeah, the chief's put me on a case tonight, the Edenton girl. Friday night, you poor sod. I thought that was sorted out anyway. I wish it was. Listen, are you near a computer? Uh, I can be. Yeah, go on. Do you know anything about a death last year? Someone called Liam in Edenton Village? Uh, I don't remember it. Hang on, someone. Edenton Village. Uh, yeah, Liam Rogers. It's a suicide last year. Suicide? Hang on, two suicides in two years, both in Edenton. Funny, you've got your work cut out, Jexy. Yeah, don't I know it. Right, well, good luck with that and see you Monday. Thanks, Mike. Okay, wir haben jetzt wieder mehr Infos. Liam's Death und das Drei-Finger-Symbol. Können wir denn jetzt auch noch äh, irgendwo anders hin? Hier vielleicht? Ne, hier können wir immer noch nicht hin. Äh, dann gehen wir da erstmal zur Abbey Farm und fragen ihn mal nach Liam's Death und nach diesem Rock-Symbol. Obwohl wir da ja... Obwohl wir da ja auf jeden Fall den Atlas-Menschen fragen müssen. So erstmal das Drei-Finger-Symbol. If I did that would it mean anything to you yeah it's a satanism symbol satanists use it have you ever seen anyone using it lots of people politicians presidents ceos have you ever seen anyone local using it not that i remember okay did you know liam liam who liam who died <laughs> you mean Liam who killed himself? Yeah. He was in my year, on a different course. What course was Liam on? Can't remember, not mine. What was yours? Plant science. First time I knew about Liam was when he killed himself. Right, so you didn't meet him? No. James' degree is in plant science or kennt sich nicht mit Pflanzen aus? Booya! Aha. So, your degree is in plant science, but you don't seem to know anything about plants. Well, still got a lot to learn. So you're still saying you've never heard of salvia? Didn't say that. So you have? Maybe. And you do grow it? Yeah, it's legal, why not? What do you do with it? I use it for explorative purposes, meditation. And does this involve anybody else? Why? Do you sell it or give it to anybody else? <sighs> sure. Yeah, it's just for me, nobody else. And that's the only drug you grow, is it? Feel free to go and look if you want. It's okay, I'll look later. Okay. The okay. only drug he grows. <laughs> Not sure I believe that, James. Then again, would someone growing illegal drugs bother growing a legal one? 
Ja, eben, genau. Das, das ist die Frage. Würde jemand, der äh, illegale Drogen anbaut, sich überhaupt drum scheren, auch noch legale Drogen dazu anzubauen? Ja, ich weiß nicht, ich weiß nicht. Aber er hat das doch hier getauscht. Ja! Ja! When you say herbal tea, do you mean salvia? Probably. So you traded salvia tea with Simon for his homebrew? So? So why did you say you didn't give salvia to anybody else? Did you give it to anybody else? Ah. Oh. How many people did you give it to? Did you give it to Kate? No. How about Liam? I didn't have anything to do with him dying, if that's what you mean. So you did give him salvia? Yes, I gave him salvia because he asked for it. But that's not what killed him. Well, he committed suicide, James, because of psychological issues that probably weren't helped by him trying hallucinogenic drugs. Didn't commit suicide. You don't know anything about him. You don't know what happened. Okay, so what happened then? Do you even know about Third Eye? Go on. You don't know about Third Eye. You don't know about Third Eye. You know nothing about Liam's death. I mean, forget Salvia. Fine, tell me then. Third Eye was a cult. We had our very own psycho cult operating right here from our village hall. And I got rid of them, single-handed. I'm the one who got rid of Third Eye. Did they tell you that at the station? Okay, okay, start again. They were what? You don't know anything, do you? Look. They were reeling in students, pretending to be some sort of happy life course, you know. We can make your life better sort of crap. Then they were putting everyone through this brainwashing program to make them compliant. And selling them on. All there. What do you mean, selling them on? Selling them. Objects. Commodities. To who? To anyone who could afford them. Top politicians, famous celebrities, wealthy businessmen, you name it. What for? You don't get it, do you? Third Eye were making and selling slaves. They were black market slave traders. They were wiping people's personalities using ECT, brainwashing, cocktails of hard drugs, deliberately turning them into perfect slaves. You know how much slaves are worth on the black market these days? No. Millions. And I'm talking per slave. That's why anyone who stood up to them and threatened to go public like Liam was just killed off. They didn't give a damn. So you're saying Liam was murdered by Third Eye? Exactly what I'm saying. So I started looking into it. <laughs> They're all saying it was suicide, but there's no way. So, did you ever actually meet Liam? I found out about him. And how did you find out about all this other stuff? <laughs> Stop me as you can tell. I met some of the students. You could see straight away there was something wrong. They were like zombies. And I can tell when someone's got ECT damage or when they've been through mind conditioning. It's just obvious. I mean, US military used all these techniques back in the 50s. It's all documented. You can read about it. They showed all the same signs. So did you ever actually go to a meeting? No, but I knew what went on. How? From what people said who'd been through it. Okay, so do you know anyone I could speak to who did go through it? Well, no. Look, it doesn't matter. Why did they close down if it wasn't true? They just closed down and disappeared overnight after I put all the flyers up. Bit of a coincidence. But that was just after Liam died. Yeah. And do you think that had anything to do with it? Maybe, but, but it was the flyers that forced them to close. <sighs> okay. Do you mind if I keep this? Yeah, you investigate it. It'll all come out. Third Eye definitely killed Liam. Well, that was a lot to take in. Does James really believe all this stuff? This is the first I've heard about Third Eye. Question is, what's their connection with Atlas, if there is one? Ob Atlas einfach dieses Third Eye unter einem anderen Namen ist? Hab ich gerade rumgespuckt. Alter! Krass, Mann! Okay. Be back later on, if that's okay. Das war mal eine Story, ey. Das war mal eine Story. Krass. Okay, er hat ja gesagt, er wollte sich nochmal umgucken, aber nicht was anderes anbaut, aber er war sich nicht so ganz sicher. Deswegen schauen wir uns nochmal um, ob wir uns irgendwo nochmal umschauen können. Wir schauen uns um, ob wir uns irgendwo umschauen können. Und genau so ist es, ob wir irgendwas investigieren können. Hier nicht. 
Vielleicht in dem anderen Greenhouse nochmal. Ich finde dieses Spiel so cool, es tut mir leid. Ich finde das echt so geil. Und es kommen immer neue Sachen dazu. Es wird immer verworrener und ver ver verwirrender. Aber hier ist auch nichts. Okay, ah, einmal kurz anders hinsetzen. Und dann äh, gehen wir mal... Äh, Paul und Ryan Rand, da kommen wir immer noch nicht hin, oder? Gehen wir noch mal hinter das Brandon Haus. Ob da jetzt vielleicht die zwei sind, die eben da an den Bäumen waren? Ne, hier ist immer noch nichts, okay. Dann gehen wir mal gehen wir zu Rebecca. Gehen wir mal zu Rebecca. Wir fragen erstmal Rebecca nach diesen Sachen da. Ding dong. Ask about a few more things, please. If I did this, would that mean anything to you? Why is it meant to mean something? No, no, it's okay. Okay, sie kennt das scheinbar nicht. What do you know about Liam? You mean Liam who took his life? He used to play in a band, Black Rock or something? No, Black Stone. Um, very gothic. I used to let them play in here sometimes at the weekends. They were quite good. Did you know there was anything wrong? I mean, why he might have... No, I, I didn't know him very well. Okay, okay. Have you seen this before? Don't take any notice of that. Why? James Wilson is a fantasist. He spends his time pretending to cast spells in the woods. He's not exactly a stable person. And, um, I heard that he was involved with growing cannabis. Really? Well, don't quote me on that. So you don't think there's any truth at all to this? None at all. Okay. No truth to the flyer. Thank you. Probably be back later. Okay, um, dann gehen wir noch mal zu Emma und Simon, was die uns noch dazu, das möchte ich jetzt auch noch euch in dieser Folge noch geben hier. Vielleicht sitzt ihr gerade, ja, 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 davor oder ihr sagt, nö, ist scheiße, dann macht das Video aus. Sorry, aber dann macht es aus. Questions, if that's okay. Ich überziehe jetzt gerade ein bisschen, aber das ist mir egal. If I did this, would it mean anything to you? No. Why? It's okay. Thanks. Aber das ist irgendwie keiner so als Metal-Symbol oder so äh, identifiziert. Okay. Okay, das ist natürlich der hier und nicht der hier. Naja, gut. What do you know about a student called Liam? Committed suicide last year. Um, only that I didn't know him really well. Okay, sie kannte ihn nicht gut. Have you seen this? Ja. Yeah. It was all over college last year. James made it. Idiot. So you don't agree with what I'm saying? No, I don't agree with anything James says. He's absolutely crazy. He thinks that the government has been controlled by aliens and that we're all bugged. He's nuts. Okay. Glaub nichts, was James sagt. <laughs> Hatten wir hier irgendwas mit James? Ja, nee, das schon hier ist creepy, okay. Ähm... Um, dann fragen wir uh, noch mal Simon. Thank you. If I did uh, this, would that mean anything to you? <laughs> Who did you see doing that? Someone in the woods, carving it into a tree. That was Kyle. It's a guy from the course, he's an idiot. And where does he live? I can't remember, somewhere outside the village? The three fingers thing is something the students started doing. It's something from the course. The uh, the three freedoms. The what? The three freedoms. It's from the course. It's um, a phrase. Free to be free. Free yourself from the things that are holding you back, right? Uh, things that stop you being successful. What are they? There's uh, uh, fear of failure, uh, guilt, and uh, a doubting, uh, a self-doubt. You believe that? Yeah. Guilt ruins lives. It stops you looking forward. It it serves no practical purpose. It's basically destructive. Right. Okay. Free to be free. 
Not the most original slogan, but I wonder how far this freedom goes. Ja, das würde mich auch mal interessieren. So, wir fragen ihn jetzt noch zu Ende und dann ist die Folge vorbei, versprochen. What do you know about Liam? Liam, local lad, took his mind. Oh, that Liam! Yeah, yeah, I heard about him, but you didn't know him. No, I, I know he went to college, but didn't really know him. It's sad though. <laughs> Sehr mitfühlend auch, danke. Have you seen this before? Oh, is this the thing that James did? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. What do you know about all this? A third eye, I think they were called? I don't really know anything about it. I mean, I've heard about Liam's death, but all I know about three eyes or whatever is, is on this fire. So you hadn't heard about third eye? No, sorry. Okay, 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 gut. Thank Dann you. gehen wir. Aber wir werden in der nächsten Folge Ryan befragen. Ich glaube, da werden wir einiges äh, rausprügeln aus ihm. Ich danke euch sehr fürs Zusehen. Wir speichern noch eben zusammen. Äh, wie komme ich hier rein? So, genau. Save Game One. Replay Save. Game Save. Und ich sage, bis morgen, bis zur nächsten Folge Contradiction. Macht's gut und vielen Dank fürs Zusehen. Tschüsschen!